Thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to get right after it. Uh, this is one of those things where I'm going to talk about something that's not music related. It's Hollywood. You've heard me rant about it before. And, I, and trust me, uh, I want to try to do this as little as possible. But... You know, when the time is needed for me to say something, I'm going to fucking say it, you know. Uh, and I and I love movies. And I think, you know, eventually, somehow, some way, I will maybe start working movie reviews into my, my podcast and my videos somehow. Uh, hey, whatever it takes to get you guys to listen to me and watch me, I will do. I am a fucking attention whore, right? So, the the Harvey uh, Weinstein thing, all right, where he got fired, and all these women are coming out of the woodwork. And hey, props to the company for firing him. The the company he fucking started. Good, get rid of him. But I want to take a different little angle here. First off, also to I hate it when people do this. Now, when all these women are coming out and talking about all the different uh, shit that assholes have done to them. Hell, even uh, Terry Crews, the uh, the guy that does the Old Spice commercials, you know, and he was in uh, that Chris Rock show when he was a little kid. He was his dad. So the fucking guy just came up and grabbed his dick and his balls. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Uh, so, but, I mean, should we be surprised? The fucking Hollywood is full of scumballs. We've known this for a long time. Um, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that makes it right or that, uh, you know, uh, it took too long to happen for people to lose their jobs or get fired, but what my point was, like, when these women, all these women start telling their stories I already see on Twitter oh yeah convenient yeah just another bitch trying to get her 15 minutes of fame shut the fuck up alright it's so ridiculous like we it, it's like we cannot uh, give any person any credit for anything right like okay if it was one or two girls all right then good he's fired but then when five or six women talk about oh they're just trying to pile on so that they get attention to it and it's just it's the whole fucking twitter social media thing you know and i i go on and on about it and at nauseam probably I apologize. Um, I, you know, I just hate that. It's like with the Bill Cosby thing when, you know, we're finding out all these different women that he, this sick fucker drugged. Oh, well, it's up to 70. Well, 50 of them are just riding the coattails of the other 20. It, and it's just, it's just ridiculous. Okay. I just get so sick of hearing that shit. And I see it on YouTube also. But, I mean, I was watching a video on YouTube. And they were talking about it, the Schmoes, Schmoes know, you know those guys, they have a couple shows, Collider videos and stuff, and they were, they were mentioning in it and talking about it, which was good, and I, and I, I posted a comment on there, you, you know, but, and what they were referring to is that some of the people in the chat room were like, hey, fuck this, let's move on, we, we're tired of hearing this, we, we want to talk about the, you know, Star Wars Last Jedi trailer. That's fine. And I agree. People don't want to click and listen to me talk about this shit all the time. But but don't, just because this one little thing happened, let's not forget. Alright. All the other fucking people that got away with shit that nothing fucking happened to, okay? Like Roman Polanski. And I, and I made a comment about that. Uh, remember... Nothing happened to him, 
You know, he fled uh, prosecution, and of course he wouldn't get extradited because the country that he fled to said, hey, you know, you have no jurisdiction here. Fuck you. And you can go on YouTube. Uh, I don't know if my comments are still up there or not. Because there's an interview with Kim Cattrall on there, and the guy interviewing her was like, well, how do you separate what he did, you know, and working with him? And she basically just gave him a pass. Well, I'm that kind of kind of person, you know. Um, uh, I I separate the work from, you know, the act. Fuck you, Kim Cattrall. In other words, as long as he was going to pay you money to be in a fucking movie, it didn't matter that he raped a fucking teenage girl. That just, just, just tell it like it is, you fucking bitch. So I don't want to hear nothing from her. I don't want to, you know, any tweets from her about staying strong or to any of these other women, hey, I'm behind you, which I'm not saying she's going to. I, I get so, uh, it just burns my fucking ass. I'm sorry. Fuck you, you fucking bitch. You and your stupid Sex in the City show. Listen. It, that's ridiculous to me. You cannot... There are certain things that you just cannot forget about. Hey, remember... This was a movie. I don't know what movie. It came out not too long ago. Oh, I think it was Jeep, Jeepers Creepers 3. The movie is terrible. It sucks. I read a couple of reviews. Then I found out the director is a convicted child molester. Fuck him. Do not... Rent the movie. If it's on somewhere for free, skip that motherfucker. Fuck the fuck Hollywood. All right. You know it's ridiculous that people like Kim Cattrall. And I, I'm sorry. You can go. I I don't know the title of the video. You can go watch it. And it, it, that's the mentality that they've got to get out of in Hollywood, right? You know, and Weinstein's been around forever. And we know that this shit's been going on forever. He's not the only one doing this shit. He's a powerful guy. They got rid of him, rid of him. but there, there's other people uh, to get rid of. But it's also part of the culture. That's what I'm talking about. When you've got actors and actresses that are going to work for these people and make excuses for them, that shit's never going to go away. And Kim Cattrall, Kim Cattrall is a woman should be really, really disgusted by Roman Polanski, but she's not. Remember remember fuckface Marlon Brando? Yeah. Guess what? When, when I found out that that motherfucker basically raped that woman in Last Tango in Paris, you can go read the article. He fucking destroyed that woman's life. I don't care what anyone says. I love The Godfather. Okay? I love it. But I haven't watched it since I... About two years ago, when I read the whole story of Last Tango in Paris and what that motherfucker did, okay? He knew what the fuck he was doing. He raped that woman, all right? And they put it on film, and, uh, you know, and I understand. Because you get the other side, oh, well, Scum Malicious, you know what? She could have said no. She uh, she let this happen. She's the one that had her clothes off for half of the movie. She was 19 fucking years old with a 48-year-old man who was a legendary fucking Hollywood person. You know, uh, it's just it's just not that simple to me, okay? And, and you know what? Okay, that's fine, that, that people that make that argument. But that's still okay that Marlon Brando did that. Trust me. I'm telling you, she had no idea that scene was going to go down the way it did. And you can you can read it. I'm telling you, I haven't watched The Godfather since then. How fucked up is that? But I tell you, once I find out that a fucking piece of shit is a piece of shit, I don't watch them anymore. It's just like the bands. I told you. They're, if I find out... You know what? There might be a band I'm listening to right now. They've been playing for 20 years. Alright? I'll just say... Let's say Chuck Head's Revenge. There you go. Which, I know Jughead's Revenge aren't assholes. Because I fucking know. Anyway, let's say they're playing, and they're playing all these shows. And then I find out that that lead singer, uh, I call him Jody, is a child molester. Which he's not, okay? 
I, this is all hypothetical. I'm not saying that. Guess what? Jughead's Revenge. Bye. Don't fucking list you anymore. Your CDs, throw them out like fucking Frisbees. I, I step outside and I fling those CDs like fucking coasters. That's what happens. I'm telling you. When I find out stuff like that, I'm done. You know? You think I watch Tom Cruise? Fuck no, I don't watch Tom Cruise. You know what? Beca and I'll tell you another thing. This goes, this goes to the whole NFL thing. What, whatever side you're on, I'm not. I'm not here to argue. You know, if you're with the players or against the players, I guarantee you. Guarantee you, every player will stand next year. You know why? Because they'll they'll either make it a law a rule or they won't play the anthem before they come out. Because the NFL will not lose money. So, and as as sickening as it is. That's what that's what needs to happen to Hollywood, you know. Uh, because these people, like Weinstein and fucking Roman Polanski and all these big time movie producers, they have a lot of friends, and those friends have money, right? And just on a little side note, you know that that Weinstein uh, contributed a lot of money to. Uh, the Democratic Party. There are a bunch of scumballs that have contributed to both parties. Okay? Both Republicans and Democrats have gotten money from scumballs. It's happened over time and it will continue to happen. That's never going to stop. So I don't I'm not I'm not even gonna listen to that fucking argument. It's stupid. Okay? A lot of rich a lot of rich people not all rich people, not all people with money, but a lot of rich people, you know, are sick fucking demented fuckers. So let's not just, you know, I'm not even doing the political thing. But when you got guys like Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, and I'm telling you, we know where there's smoke, there's fire. There, that actresses went, you know, talk to them, and then about him being a sick fuck and then they stop the story there's some truth to that and then you're finding out that Affleck you know like a lot of guys gets drunk and is a fucking idiot alright now the video that I seen with him and the chick you know on TRL uh, you know it, he's a yeah he's a fucking asshole but like I didn't see the woman I mean she looked happy to be sitting on his lap I'm not I'm not saying that what he did was right, okay? Uh, but now, here we go. Another story. This girl, he he groped my he groped my ass. Uh, she's the wife of a comedian. I think he's a ma she's a makeup artist. Fuck you, Ben Affleck, and fuck you, Matt Damon. And you know, I've kind of been on this train for a while with them too, because I try to keep their politics out of it. I really do. It's just hard for me anymore. The more and more political these motherfuckers get, the more and more I get turned away. Right? You know? The more, you know, I'm not interested in the NFL as much as I used to be because of it. You keep doing this shit, and guess what? You're going to fucking lose me, and you're going to lose other people too. But the bottom line is, when we're talking about Hollywood, it it's... It can't stop. There's a lot of fucking people. Basically, what I'm saying, we need to clean house. All right? Kind of like our uh, legal system. It absolutely needs fucking overhauled. Hollywood needs cleaned out. All right? And these motherfuckers that are making $20 million a movie, like Tom Cruise, and I'm, I'm not comparing Tom Cruise to sexual fucking predators, okay? He's just a lunatic. Um... You know, it's about the money. So, how do you, you know, what's the simple answer to that? Just quit going to the fucking movies. Like, if there's actors that you see in a movie or a director that you don't like that made a movie, don't, don't, don't go to it. Don't buy it. That's what I do. You know? Affect the pocketbook. Fuck you, Hollywood. You know what? You want to fucking molest kids? 
I, and I'm telling you, Jeepers Creepers 3, I think. Go look it up. He's a fucking child molester. The movie's terrible. Don't go... Don't give that motherfucker any your money. Seriously. Fuck him. Fuck all these other sick fucks. You know? Ben Aslick? Fucking suck my nutsack, dude. I ain't watching any of your movies. You suck as Batman. Sorry. I'll take Michael Keaton. That's just me. You know? And fuck Matt Damon. You know, I try to give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, I loved it. You know, in Team America when they got slaughtered in that movie. Like a lot of the actors did. You know what? I try because I like the Bourne movies. But you know what? Fuck him too. If he's gonna make excuses for a sexual predator, he can fucking suck my ass too. You know, that's all I'm saying. Don't just fuck Hollywood. You know what? Don't pay ten dollars to go see a fucking movie. I mean, it's just fucking ridiculous. You know? Hey, you want to go? You know? I have two kids. I want to take the movies. You know, by the time I sat in the seat and bought popcorn, I've already spent 40 fucking dollars. What the fuck? And then these people, they, you know, they own these mansions where they got people that, like, basically wipe their ass for them when they take a shit. Fuck that. They don't need to be living like that. Not some fucking actor or actress. Definitely not some motherfucker behind a camera. Yeah. Don't stop. Let's just keep this fucking train going. Let's get rid of all them sick motherfuckers. That's it. That's all I had to say. You know? And I feel better. Hey. The Darkness. Music album. Review. It's coming. Alright. See you in a little bit.